we're going to start programming with Penguin um, using Penguin version 0 0.12, available at penguin.googlecode.com. Previously we talked about adding new functionality to the Penguin by using the built-in editor. For instance, you might do something like forward 150, left 90, and then you can use that piece of code over and over again by using the test run button, and you could create a square. Squares are pretty useful, so that's actually a built-in function to the Penguin. So you could say square 150, and that'll do all that automatically. Square also has another parameter. If you add a second parameter true, then the square will be centered on the location where the Penguin starts off. He walks over to the edge, up to the corner, draws the square, and then heads back into the center where he was uh, to begin with. And of course you can change the size of the square by changing that first parameter. You can also use a negative number uh, to the square function. If it's a centered square, it's not really going to change anything, but if it's a non-centered square, it just draws the square in the other direction. Previously we talked about changing the color of things that you draw by using the pen color menu. or by using the color function with the red, green, blue core, uh, components of the color, or of course you can just put in the name of a color. You can also just use the word random in the color function, and that will just choose a color at random. Another function that's available is circle, and what you're going to do there is put in the radius of the circle that you want to draw, so the distance from the center over to the edge of the circle, and you can do negative numbers there that draws the circle in the other direction, <coughs> or like with the square you can add the second parameter true, and then it'll draw a circle that's centered on the location where the penguin starts off. Once you start drawing shapes, either the circle or the square that are built in, or shapes of your own, you may want to start filling in the inside of the shape, and you can do that using the pen fill color menu. Or of course you can use the function. And then once you start drawing your shapes, you'll start to fill in. You can also get random fill colors by using the word random in the function. Let's use some of this to make a new uh, program. Let's start a new page here in the editor. And I'm going to reset, let's say, square 150. And then we'll just turn left a little bit. And let's go ahead and fill in that. Like we talked about before, if your designs start getting more complex, you might want to crank the speed up, makes things a little faster. In addition to the word random, you could also use R light for light colors. R medium is a bit darker. And R dark. Depending on what you're doing, sometimes it's better to use just the light, medium, or dark colors. It can be a little bit better looking. Let's try one more. Let's do circle 200. 
100. Let's move forward a bit here. Left 20. And let's do fill random again. Remember, if your drawing starts going off the edge of the canvas, you can just use your mouse wheel to scroll out a bit so you can see everything. Like we talked about before, just running code over and over again by using the test run button. It's a form of a loop, and we'll get into loops more in one of the future podcasts. Okay, give these things a try, and thanks for watching.